My dear students, very good afternoon to all of you. I am Guru Rajan from Malnad College of Engineering, Asan. So, when I met you last time in the five lectures, I have taught you unit number one, that is uh, introduction to set theory, counting principles and uh, applications of what? Counting principle. Uh, lastly, I had introduced briefly a notion on what? Formal logic. So, today what we do this week lecture, that is today and tomorrow lecture plan is as follows. So, first we shall go through the basic terminologies of what the uh, logic, fundamental logic including the definitions of logical connectives, truth tables, logical equivalence, tautology, contradiction, etcetera. Then we shall write, we shall have a tutorial on what, whatever the portions covered just to ensure that you understand the basic concepts of what logical connectives concepts like logical equivalence, tautology, etc. Toward the end, we shall have a discussion on what methods of proof right, and uh, rules of what inference theory. Many times we come across this problem, what is called how to prove a result, how to find uh, uh, support or evidence for a given problem. So, he, that is this is especially true in decision making problems. So, considering this viewpoint, we shall introduce the various methods of proof available in literature including the rules of what inference theory. To begin with, I told you what is a proposition. Proposition means uh, it is a declarative sentence written in some language. Normally, usually it is English with which we follow. The statement written is what? Either true or false, but it cannot have both at the same time. Such a statement is called as what? A primitive proposition or an atomic statement, simply a proposition. Clear to you? Please remember Proposition means it is a declarative sentence, you have to write in a language, it can be even in Kannada or uh, any other language. The only thing is about, only thing is about must be that the statement whatever you write or say, right, it must be either a true statement or a false statement, it should not be what, both. So, that is called what, what, a proposition. So, generally we use uh, lower case letters like uh, P, Q, R, S, etcetera to describe a situation. So, thus it must be clear to you now that if I have a proposition say P, right, it can have exactly what two choices, either the proposition P is what true or it is a false proposition, it cannot be both. So, keeping this viewpoint, right, we shall uh, assign a symbol either T or 1 to mean that the proposition is what true. When we assign a number 0 or the symbol f that means what the proposition is under question is what false. So, in view of this we can say that a proposition as a pair either p comma t or what p comma f. So, we can give a definition of proposition like this also proposition means what it is a pair right. So, p comma t or p comma f where p is a declarative sentence written in a language t means what its truth value is true f means its truth value is false. Understood? So, this situation we can well compare with what we discussed earlier in set theory. It was told to you at that time with respect to a set A and an element, we can have only what two choices. Either the element x is a member of A or the element x need not be a member of A. So, there we use the binary numbers 1 and 0 to describe the situation. I told you there that uh, set theory forms a basis for what the future topics of what discrete mathematics. So, the same we are uh, observing here with regard to what the truth value of a proposition with regard to the truth value of a proposition. Now, you can notice these are some examples of what proposition. For example, Dr. Manmohan Singh is the president of India. If you make this statement, it is a declarative sentence, no doubt about it, but its truth value is what false. We are aware that the Dr. Manmohan Singh is our prime minister, but not the president. So, I right, I can write symbolically as P comma F. Now, Mumbai is the financial capital of India. Yes, we, are, we all agree. So, Q is a true proposition. So, Bangalore is the Silicon Valley of India, many of us uh, agree. So, we can accept that R is a true proposition. On the other hand, so consider the statement yes, 3 plus 3 equal to what 5. We know that 3 plus 3 is what 6. So, it is a declarative sentence, no doubt, but it is a, but it is a false proposition. So, Dr. Abdul Kalam was awarded Bharat Ratna. Yes, this is a true statement. So, its truth value is true. So, what about the following? Look at these uh, 
declarative sentences x plus 3 is an integer please come in are you all right then complete work today itself what are you doing what a beautiful evening etc now all these are not viewed as propositions mainly for the following reasons now here in x plus 3 an integer x is not specified we are not specifying what we are going to assign to what x if i assign a number to x yes certainly it makes a meaning right so if i assign x is equal to 3 yes 3 plus 3 equal to 6 is an integer or if i assign any integer value to x yes it becomes on the other hand if i do not if on the other hand if i say include a number say root 2 so root 2 plus 3 is not an integer it is a real number but only when x is replaced by a number it gets a meaning so because of this say a statement of this kind are called what open statement are called open statement where x must be replaced by a member from the universe now the the, the others are not considered as a proposition for the reason that so commands enquiries queries are not considered as what proposition remember so commands orders enquiries exclamatory sentences are not referred to as propositions okay now introducing uh, the various uh, logical connectives say to begin with negation now if p is a proposition it is not the case that p it is not the case that p it is called what negation of p it is denoted by not p or by using the symbol this symbol this symbol stands for what negation p the same i can uh, explain by using a truth table so p whenever p is a true proposition its negation is what false on the other hand to start with if f we fees a false proposition its negation is what here true proposition the same i explain by using the binary numbers 1 and 0 so whenever p is assigned a value 1 negation p will be assigned a value 0 and vice versa i want to make one thing uh, clear to here now throughout uh, logic we will not uh, introduce the term what is called what equality unless told but only equivalent for the reason that a given statement can be written in the uh, in a number of different ways conveying the same meaning for example if if i start with a proposition p so p means what today is monday right let us assume that p is the statement that today is monday now if you want to find the negation of this i can say that it is not the case that what today is monday or i can well make that today is not monday or i can well make today is the tuesday or what today is a sunday so all these are what equivalent to one another but not what equal statement therefore please remember in logic never use the symbol equality you will not find anywhere the usage of what symbol equality x x other uh, you will not find the usage of equality but only equivalent we shall discuss uh, later so another uh, logical connective i am trying to introduce you what is logical r this is very much similar to your union operator in uh, set theory now if p and q are what two propositions now a proposition obtained by combining p with u using the logical r r operator is called what p disjunction q it is denoted by p r q p meet q so this symbol stands for what p disjunction q r what p r q by definition remember p r q is false only when what both p and q are what false otherwise it is always what yeah true proposition understood so p r q is a compound proposition obtained by using simple propositions using the logical connective r now how to define or how to remember it so p r q will have the truth value false only when what both p and q are false otherwise p r q is always true proposition the same may explain by using the truth table so p r q whenever p now p and q are what both true proposition so p r q is what true because p is a true proposition irrespective of what whether q is what true or false p r q is what always a true proposition the same holds good here also because q is true i claim that p r q is what true but here when p is false q is false p r q is what false so here i can tell what is a truth table so truth table means it is a tabular representation of what truth values of the simple proposition as well as what the compound proposition remember 
if anybody asks you what is your truth table, so truth table means what? It is a tabular representation of what? Truth values of the individual propositions and the compound propositions, understood? So, how best way to remember P R Q is what? Just remember right. So, F F means what? F, otherwise it is always what true. Similarly, I can introduce the conjunction operator or logical and operator. Now, to begin with, let P and Q be simple propositions. A proposition now obtained by using the logical operator and earlier I used R, now I am using the logical connective and I call this as what? P conjunction Q. So, how to read P and Q or P conjunction Q? Here, the truth value of P and Q will be true only when both P and Q are what? True. Otherwise, it is a false proposition. Understood? So, what is P and Q? So, P and Q will assume the truth value true only when P is true and also what Q is true. Otherwise, it is a false proposition. The same I can explain using the truth table. From this, it must be clear to you. When I write T here, that means what P is true. When I write F here, that means what Q is false. So, T T will bring what T? T F is F. F T is F, F F is what F. The same I can explain even using by numbers 1 and 0. So, 1 1 means 1, 1 0 0, 0 1 0 and 0 0 0. Understood? Now, note that logical operator conjunction is similar to the intersection operator that we discussed uh, with the uh, set theory. Now, like union and intersection operator, these two operators show what contrast in behaviors. So, therefore, we can conclude or claim that logical R and logical N are what? Examples of dual logical operator or dual connectives, dual connectives. Okay? Now, normally we find uh, these connectives in logical gates. So, if you are working with logical gates, right, in digital electronics, you will come across this NAND operator and what? NOR operator. So, what is NOR of NAND operator means? It is negation of what? P and Q that is P not and, okay. how to remember it? P not and and is called none. So, P none Q is what? Negation of P and Q. I use this symbol arrow mark upwards to mean that what? P nand Q. That means, first apply an and, whatever comes to that I have to apply what? Negation. Okay. Similarly, NOR operator. So, this is defined as what? Negation of disjunction, that is negation of what? P R Q, that is P nor Q is negation of what P R Q. I use this symbol P arrow mark downwards Q. The respective truth tables are given in the next slide. So, you can tell that this is P nand Q. I told you first P and Q already we have we know how to construct. So, T T means F, C F F, F T is F, F F means what F. So, if I take the negation I get what F T T T. So, T moving to F, F to T, F to T, F to T understood. So, this is the truth table of what P and Q. Similarly, now this is the truth table for what P nor Q. First, I had to start with P, then Q, thereafter P or Q. Now, I know how to construct P or Q or I hope you have understood. So, how to construct P or Q? It is very simple. F F means what? F. I am repeating. F F means F. Otherwise, it is always what? True. Now, if we take the negation, I get what? T moving T up, T T up, T T up, F to T. Understood? So, this is the truth table of P nor Q. So, another uh, uh, logical connect is we normally we consider in programming languages, especially when you work with uh, some condition if then else statement, if you can recall. So, this introduces the one sided connect is. So, one sided means what? P implies Q or Q follows from P or P implying Q. So, this is called what? One sided implication. Now, a proposal is obtained by combining using the logical connective one sided implication is called P implies Q. Symbolically, I write like this P implies Q. That means what? P implies Q or Q follows from P. Okay, right? If P, then Q. In so many ways, I can interpret one sided connective. Now, the truth value here, it can be false only when what P is true, but Q is what false. In all other instances, P implies Q is a true proposition. Understood? So, what is P implies Q? How to remember P implies Q? I can say, if P, then Q. P implies Q. Q 
follows from P etc. Okay. Now, this will assume the truth value f only when what P is true, but unfortunately Q is false. In all other instances, the implication is always here true proposition. The same like we can show by using the truth table approach. Now, you see T f means what f, because we are uh, interested about finding the truth value of what P implies Q ultimately. So, when P is true, Q is false, there is no way we can say that P implies what Q. So, it will assume the truth value f in all other instances, its truth value is always true. Okay. Now, by conditional, so we always uh, come across this, this is the if and only if situation, if and only if condition, that is two sided implication, that is P implying Q as well as what Q implying P, this is called what P by conditional Q, it is a proposition, I use this symbol, this means what? P implies Q and at the same time Q also implies what P. So, because of this I claim that the truth value of this proposition is true only when both P and Q are assigned the same truth values, otherwise its truth value is what false. I repeat P by conditional if P then Q, if Q then P. So, this will assume the truth value true only when P and Q are assigned what same truth values otherwise it is false. The same we can show like this T, T means what F, now P and Q are assigned the same truth value T, so P by conditional Q will assume the truth value T. Now, when P and Q are assigned the same truth value that is F, here also what we will find P by conditional Q assume, uh, being assigned the truth value T, for others the other, for the remaining other two P by conditional Q is a false proposition, understood. Now, so, generally we work with uh, exclusive uh, logical operator, this we work with symmetrical difference operator in set theory, the same being uh, defined here. Okay. So, let P and Q be two proposition, so what is P exclusive or? This means that either P is true or Q is true, but not both are true at the same time, right. That is called what? P exclusive or Q, I use this is I use this symbol, this symbol stands for what? This symbol stands for P exclusive or Q, that means what? We remember that this symbol stands for either P is true or Q is true, but not both are true at a time. Okay. The truth table for this is, you see, so T F means what? T. T T means what F, T F means what T, F T means what T, F F means T. Uh, that is uh, when P is true, Q is false, P exclusive or Q will assume the truth value T. Similarly, when P is false, Q is true, then it will assume the truth value T. For other two, the truth value of what P exclusive or Q is what false, understood. So, these are uh, some of the uh, logical connect connectives we come across in fundamentals of logic. So, to begin with we introduced what negation logical and logical R, then what one sided implication, two sided implication, then what logical exclusive R and then followed by none then NAR operator. Now, we shall continue our discussion on the following namely what is mean by saying a statement formula right which is true or false etcetera. Now, a proposition obtained by combining a proposal obtained by combining many logical variables right and containing a proper parenthesis is called what a statement formula or a well formed formula or simply a statement or a compound statement. So, now a compound statement is what? It is a proposition obtained by using a number of what la simple proposition and logical connectives. The statement must contain what proper parenthesis, then it is given the name statement formula or simply a statement. For example, you can notice that this is a valid statement formula. Why this is a valid statement formula? How many is Propose we have, I got what three proposition P, Q and what R, I use some connectors and I have used one sided implication I use, also I use what logical R and then the negation operator. So, I have used four operators to form this, okay. also we have got what proper parenthesis okay, from left, so one, two 
and from right 1 2 ok. So, I claim that this is a valid statement formula on the other hand the one which is just given below this is not a statement formula can you tell me why first P implies negation Q ok then negation P see now here I find the logical R operator ok. As I told you I can use logical operator only when I have got what two simple proposition only when two simple propositions are right combined using this then I will find get a something meaning. So, here I got only what negation P there is there is something is missing here ok. So, with one proposition I cannot climb I cannot use what logical R operator therefore, this is not a valid formula what about parenthesis from left 1 2 then 3 then from right 1 2 3 4 also parenthesis also there is there is a right improper parenthesis you can notice from left 1 2 then what 3 ok. Now, from the right 1 2 3 then what 4. So, you right this formula right has what right failed to prove to have both one is what improper parenthesis and then something is fishy in the connective logical R ok right. Now, what about this one this one is a valid formula can you explain me why now P and Q implying ok so Q implying R R negation Q and what negation use. So, how many variables I have used four variables I have used some of the connectives are used here also it contains what proper parenthesis you can verify 1 2 3 then what 4 what about from right 1 2 3 then what 4 ok. So, this formula contains what proper parenthesis logical variables are connected properly by using logical connectives. So, therefore, right we can claim that that this is a this statement is a valid formula understood. Now, what is a valid formula or a well formed formula or a statement formula that means, it is a statement compound proposition obtained by using a number of what logical variables and connectives ok such that the formula obtained must contain what proper parenthesis ok. Now, continue your discussion on uh, statement formula. Now, suppose if we form a statement say by using n logical variable right. Now, I am interested in uh, finding totally how many choices the compound proposition will have the answer will come out to be what 2 power n choices. Therefore, if you construct the truth table of a compound for statement obtained by using n logical variables and connectives then we will find what exactly 2 power n rows this is very much similar to the result namely if you want to form a binary string of n character if you want to form a binary string of what n characters totally how many such binary string I can form the answer will be what 2 power n can you explain to me why a situation similar to that ok. Now, Continuing our uh, basic terminology is what is mean by a tautology or a universally acceptable formula or universally valid formula to begin with. So, consider a statement formula obtained by using what k variable by using k simple proposition and some of the connectives ok. Now, if we construct the truth table of a I know that there will be 2 power k rows ok. Now, for each truth value of k right for each of the possible truth value assignment to what to the k variables ok. Suppose, the truth value of a turns out to be what always true then it is called what a tautology or universally valid formula or universally acceptable formula understood what is tautology a tautology mean it is a statement which is true under all under all conditions always which is always true under all possible conditions is called tautology clear or should I explain again. So, consider a statement formula A suppose that the formula A right is formed by using k variables p 1, p 2 etcetera up to p k and these connectives ok. Now, construct the truth table of A now we know how to construct the truth table of what A and also we know that there will be 2 power k rows in the truth table. Now, now look at the last column now consider the last column where we will find the truth values of what A. Now, if the last column contains what all the truth values are what true 
then A is called a tautology. Now similarly, suppose, similarly, suppose if the truth value of A is always to found out found out to be what false, then it is called what absurdity or a contradiction. On the other hand, if the truth values of A is sometimes true and at other times false, then it is called a contingency. Understood? Right? Right? So, what is the difference between tautology, contradiction, contingency? In the case of tautology, the truth value of A is always true. For contradiction, the truth value of A will be always false. In case of contingency, right, we will we'll find the, we'll find that truth value of A containing both T and F. Now, by constructing truth values, we shall find out right, whether the following formulas are tautologies. Now, we would like to take down this. So, determine whether the following are tautologies. So, P implying Q is logic is equivalent to what negation P or Q. P implies Q say biconditional negation Q implying negation P. P and P and P and P implying Q implying what Q. So, we shall try to construct the truth table of what these formulas and we shall try to find out whether these are what tautologies or not. Now, to begin with, to begin with, I want to construct the truth table of what this. Now, I know that I am starting with P and Q, two proposition. So, the truth table will contain what? Four rows, okay? Possible choices, T, 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 F, F, T, then what? F, F. Now, I know how to construct the truth table of what? P implies, I told you earlier, P implies Q will take the truth value F only when what? P is true, Q is false. For all other choices, it is what? True. So, immediately you can write down T F means F, otherwise it is always false. Now, what about negation P? So, P is true. So, negation P is false. Again, P is true. Negation P is false. Here, P is false. So, it is negation true. Here also it is true. Now, what is B now? B means negation P R Q. I told you to construct the truth table of what? P R Q. All you should remember, F F means what? F. F F means F, otherwise it is always to for example, where is negation P? I have got negation P here. You see, F, F. Okay, got two places. F. Here also it is F. So I have written F. Otherwise, it is always what true. Now, biconditional. What about biconditional? When P, A, when you know A biconditional, only when A and B both assign the same truth value, then it this. Then here we will find truth value T. Now you see, T T will bring T. F F will bring T. T T will bring T. So, T T will bring T. So, what do you find? That we find that truth table of what? A biconditional B is always what? True for all the possible four choices. So, therefore, we can conclude that this formula is a tautology. Please remember in a number of situations we will use this formula. Right? P implies Q is same as what? Negation P or Q. As you can notice that Although these two have got what same truth values, we are not writing that P implies Q is equal to what negation P or Q, okay? but only what equivalence. Okay? Once again, I am reminding you, never use the symbol equality in studying logic. Now, for the other problem, now P implies Q by conditional negation Q, negation P. Now, again, uh, start with P, Q the various choices as I explained again T F will bring F here otherwise it is true. Now, find the truth values of what negation Q and negation P C T F F T T F F T. Here also you can find the truth values of what negation P. Okay. Now, negation P implying negation P. What do you find now? Negation C right and T F means what F. Okay, see T F means F, otherwise it is always what true. Okay. Now, what do you find now? These two formulas have got what same truth values. Okay. So, therefore, we can claim that these two are what right, these two are logically equivalent or right. If I construct the truth table right by maybe by taking A means P implies Q, B means negation Q implying negation P, you can find that A by conditional B will assume the truth value what t always because because of what the result namely that a and b have got what same 
truth values. Okay. So, once again I can claim that that this is a this formula is a tautology. Now, it is clear to you suppose if you are given a problem if you are asked to find whether a formula is what tautology or not all to do is to construct the truth table of the formula. Suppose in the, in the last column if you notice that the truth value what always t then you can conclude that it is a tautology. On the other hand suppose if you find in the last column all the values are what f then it is contingency or if it is a combination of both t and f like here okay, then it is called contingency. Okay, right? So, other two problems you can uh, work out on similar lines. Okay, I wish you people should do it. Okay, you can verify that this formula is also what a tautology. Okay, this is also a tautology. Just like P implies Q, Q implies R. Therefore, certainly what P will imply. Just like from P, from P we have moved to Q. So from Q we are moving to R. Therefore, it must be possible for us to move to R from P. So once again, so this will be a tautology. You can verify it. So here the truth table will contain totally eight rows because P, Q, R. There are three variables involved here. So each variable will have exactly two choices. Like P is true or false, Q is true or false, R is true or false. So total number of choices will be eight. So if you construct the truth table of this formula, it will contain eight rows. In all the eight rows, the last column for the formula is what will have the truth value t. Okay. We have been uh, discussing about this, this uh, logical equivalence. Okay. Now, here is the, for, the formal uh, definition. right? The definition is as follows. Consider two statement formula say A and B. Okay. We say A and B are logically equivalent only when A by conditional B is a tautology. So when do you say two equi when do we say two statements are logically equivalent only when that a imp a by conditional b is a tautology then we say a and b are logically equivalent so we use this symbol this symbol stands for what a is logically equivalent to b or b is logically equivalent to a or one can say in the one can interpret the same in the following way if a and b have same set of truth values for each of the truth value assignments to the components of what A and B, then we say that A and B are what logically equivalent. Understood the definition of logical equivalence? For example, so consider uh, this problem. Say there are two restaurants normally we find in a national highway, say adjacent to one another. One restaurant is next to two, uh, two restaurants are uh, present adjacent to one uh, side by side. Now, suppose one restaurant has a sign board that says that good food is not cheap and other restaurant also has a sign board which says that cheap food is not good. Now, do you think that these sign boards convey the same meaning? So, what is your answer? Understood the problem? There are two restaurants say R1 and R2 adjacent to one another. Okay. So, one restaurant will have a sign board has a sign board that says that good food is not cheap. The other restaurant signboard says that cheap food is not good. We would like to find out whether these two signboards conveying will convey the same meaning yes or no. For this, so what we do? We shall try to solve this problem like this. Suppose let the restaurants be R1 and R2. Okay. So we shall form the primitive proposition like this. So P means what food is good. So Q means what food is cheap. Okay. Now, the first restaurant has a sign board that says that good food is not cheap. Now, how to write it in a symbolic form? I can write this, this statement, I can write it as H1 P implies what negation, that means that what? If the food is good, then it cannot be cheap. Good food is what? Always costly. So, we can write that symbolically P implies negation Q, which means that if the food is good, then it is not cheap. Now, similarly, the cheap food is not good. So, this can be written as what? If the food is cheap, that is Q, then it is not good. Okay. So, what is the negation of P? Food is not good. What is the negation of Q? Food is not cheap. So, so the two sign board symbolically you can write as what? P implies negation Q and the other sign board symbolically 
is written as what? Q implying negation B. We would like to find out whether H1 and H2 are what? Logically equivalent. If H1 and H2 are what? Logically equivalent. So, then we can conclude that the two statements are what? Equivalent to one another. For this, we need to construct what? The truth table of this. We need to construct the truth table of this by constructing the truth table of what? H1 by conditional H2. Then we will be able to answer to this question whether the two sign boards will convey the same meaning. So, I will work out uh, this problem for you on the board. All of you can uh, work with me if you understood uh, the symbolic representation, how we have made. So, to begin with, we can form a table, two table. So, first column for what P, second column for what Q, then we want what negation P maybe, then we want negation Q, then H1. So, what is H1? H1 stands for what P implying negation Q then H2 which stands for what Q implying negation P clear. So, we shall construct now the two table of what these two formulas then we will be able, able to answer to this question. Okay. Now, I hope you understood how to find the truth values of what negations of what P implies Q, negation of what P R Q or P implying Q. Now, we know that if you work with uh, two variables, so totally we will have what uh, four option just like how many four two digit binary numbers we can form 0 1 1 0 1 1 a situation similar to that right. We told you that if P is a true proposition then its negation is what false. Now, if P is true, its negation is what false, here P is false, so its negation will be true, here also what, we get the truth value T. Similarly, working with Q, we have, been, we have started with that Q is a true proposition, so its negation is what false. Now, Q is false, so its negation is true, T will be replaced by F, F will be replaced by 2. Now, we want the truth table of what? P implies Q. I told you for P implies Q, all you should remember, okay. T F means what? T F means F. T F means F. Otherwise, it is always what? True. Now, where do I find now? Where do I find now? You see here, what? P is what? True. Its negation Q is what? False. So, T F will bring what? F. Any other? What about the other? We can find that it is always what? Yes or no? Please remember P implies Q. We will assume the truth value false only when P is true, Q is false. Similarly, for Q implying a negation P, now Q implying negation P like this. Now, where do I find? Again, where do I find? You see, here also Q is true, but negation P is what? False. So, I will have the symbol F here. Now, what about further? So, F F will be what T, T T will be T, F T will be T. Now, what do you find now? That these two formulas have what? Same set of what? Truth values. Same set of truth values. So, I can write finally that is what? T T T T because that these two formulas have what? Same set of truth values for the same combination of what truth values assigned to P and Q. So, what you have found that this formula is a total H1 by condition H2 is a totality. So, therefore, we can claim that H1 and H2 are what logically equivalent, but H1 is not same as what H2. Already you observed that good food is cheap is a simple statement we written the same in a different way. If the food is what? If the food is good, then it is not cheap. As you notice that good food is not cheap. It can be interpreted as if the food is good, then it is not cheap. Now, these two statements cannot be equal to one another, only equivalence. Understood? All of you? Right. 
may be by can I have got uh, some more examples we will find out by constructing the truth table of what this two p exclusive r q p and negation q you can find that similarly you can find that these two are what logically equivalent to one another. So, one more problem I would like to we shall uh, let me explain this that is negation of what p non q and negation p nor negation q are logically equivalent ok. To begin with p and q so four option I worked with t t e d f f t f f these choices I can consider. I know that p and q will assume the truth value t only when both p and q are what true otherwise false. So, t t means t otherwise it is what false. Now, p non q what is p non q means what it is negation of p and q negation of p and q is what p non q. So, t will be replaced by f f will be replaced by t ok. Now, if you apply in, I have to apply once again negation to this I have to apply once again negation as wanted in this problem. So, I will get back what t f f t. So, I can claim that negation of what p non q is same as what p and q will you agree with me p and q is same as what negation of p non q. So, similarly we should try to construct the truth table of what this formula. So, again beginning with p or q I want negation p negation q then negation p or negation q and then what negation of this that is that is the nor that is negation p nor negation q. So, as I explained again or I have been explained to you if p is true then its negation is what false if p is false then its negation is true similar things applicable to negation q also. I told you that negation p or negation will be false only when both negation p and negation q are what false otherwise it is always true. Now, if I apply negation to it I get back what t f f. Now, so what do you find here that negation p nor negation q has the truth values t f f. Now, earlier we have seen that negation of what p and q also has the truth values what t f f. So, t followed by 3 f here also t followed by 3 f. So, I can claim that these two are what logically equivalent to one another understood. So, how to show that two formulas are logically equivalent. So, one way is what by construct the truth table of what both the formulas if both have the same set of truth values then immediately you can conclude that they are logically equivalent ok. Now, so if we have understood all this so it is time that we shall uh, have some tutorial on right on whatever you have covered just to ensure that we understand uh, the basic concept. Now, suppose I start with the statement that p means I finish writing my computer program before lunch. So, q means I shall play tennis this afternoon, r means the sun is shining, s means what the humidity is low. low. I consider four simple propositions ok right. So, then I am interested in considering this problem how to write this statement in symbolic form that is if the sign is if the sun is shining then I shall play tennis this afternoon. Finishing the writing of my computer program before lunch is necessary for my playing tennis this afternoon. Low humidity and sunshine are sufficient for me to play this tennis this to play tennis this afternoon. So, we are interested in seeing how to write this statement in symbolic form as you have seen that p means finishing of uh, writing of computer program before lunch, q means playing tennis in the afternoon, r means sun is shining, s means the humidity is low. Therefore, the first statement if the sun is shining then I shall play tennis this afternoon. So, this can be written symbolically as what r implies q because r stands for what because r stands for shining. So, if, if the sun is shining then I shall play tennis this afternoon. So, it is r implying negation q. Second one finishing the writing of my program is necessary only if I finish the program writing before lunch then only I can play what tennis in the afternoon ok. So, the same we can write symbolically as what p implies q. 
if I finish all the work before lunch, then I can go and play in the afternoon. So, it is P implies Q. Now, what about the last statement? Low humidity that is yes and sunshine are, are sufficient for me to play tennis. So, symbolically I can write was yes and R implies negative. So, many times you will be working with statement, we had write it in the symbolic form just to simplify things and then continuing the analysis. So, I introduced this, understood how to write uh, statements in symbolic form depending upon the conditional problem and then how to use the logical connectives. Now, second problem I have, I want I am interested in finding the truth values of what each of the implications. The first implication is if 3 plus 4 is 12, then 3 plus 2 equal to what? 6. Will you agree with me? Will it be a true proposition, true impo true one side implication? Now, 3 plus 4 equal to 12, I can consider this as what? P. P means 3 plus 4 equal to 12. Q means 3 plus 2 equal to 6. Now, both are false. Yes or no? 3 plus 4 cannot be 12 and 3 plus 2 is not 6. So, both are what? False, but we are interested in finding the truth value of the implication. Because both are false, implication will assume the truth value true. That is, F, F means what? T, we have noted earlier. Now, second, if 3 plus 3 is 6, then 3 plus 4 is what? 9. Now, I can consider P means 3 plus 4 equal to 6. 3 plus 3 is 6. This is true, but this is false. Okay? So, 3 plus 4 equal to 9 is false. So, true false will produce what? False. Implication will assume the truth value false. Now, the last one, if George Bush was the third president of what USA, then 2 plus 3 equal to what 5. So, this is the implication will have the truth value true. Can you explain me why? Whether George Bush was the first president or third president or eighth president, it is not going to matter because we know that 2 plus 3 is what always 5. Okay? So, therefore, the implication will take the truth value T. Understood how we have found out the truth values of the implications. Now, one more problem. Now, rewrite the statements in the if then else form. Rewrite the statement in the if then else form. Now, for practicing a serve daily is a sufficient condition for Miss Sania Mirza to have a good chance of winning the Australian Open tournament. Now, the second statement, fix my air conditioner or I won't pay the rent. Now, Manavi will be all allowed to sit on Mohan's bike only if she wears her helmet. Now, how to write these statements in uh, if then else form? How to write this statement? We want, we want to write this statement in if then else form. Okay? So, right? Now, solution if Sania Mirza practices her serve daily, then she will have a good chance of what? Winning the tournament. Okay, is it clear to you? So, what this statement is? Sanya Mirza has to practice her serve daily, then only she will have a good chance of what? Winning the tournament. The same are written like this. If Miss Sanya Mirza practices her serve daily, then she will have a good chance of winning the tennis tournament. Now, what about the second statement? Fix my air conditioner or I won't pay the rent. That means what? If you fix my air conditioner, then I will pay the rent. Yes or no? Or as good as selling, if you do not fix my air conditioner, then I am not going to pay the rent. Now, the next one, if Manavi is allowed on Mohan Barge, then she must wear the helmet. That means what? If she wears her helmet, then Manavi will be allowed to sit on Mohan's bike. The other way, we can write like this also. Okay? Now, I have a formula. I have a formula. I am interested in finding the truth values of what P, Q, R, S, T, etc. But you are given that the implication is a false proposition. That means what? We are given that this implication is false. This implication is also what? False. But we are interested in finding what are the truth value assignments to what? P, Q, R, S and T. Now, we know that the implication is false. When the implication will be false? Only when what? This statement is true and this statement is false. Yes or no? We have been telling that the implication can be false only when what? The one on the left hand side of the RM mark is true and the other on the right hand side of the RM mark is what? False. So, therefore, now 
this statement will assume the truth value false only when P and Q and R is true and S or T is false, okay, right. So, now when P and Q and R will be true only when what all the three variables P, Q, R, R what true then only what P and Q and R will assume the truth value T. Now, when S or T will assume the truth value F only when what both S and T are false. So, therefore, what are the possible assignment of truth values here for this formula that P, Q, R, what T, S and T taking the truth value F. Understood how we have found the truth values of P, Q, R, S and T. So, based on the definition namely that the implication is false only when P and Q and R is true and S or T is false. When S or T is false only when both S and T are false when P and Q and R will be true only when what all the three are true. So, so the truth value assignment T T T followed by F F. Now, coming to the second problem. Now, here we have got the exclusive R operator. Here we have got the exclusive operator. The same logic applies here also that to begin with I must begin with that what this is a true proposition, but this must be what false then only implication will be false. Okay. So, I can find the following choices. Now, when S exclusive R T will be false only when what both are true or what both are false because we told you earlier S exclusive symbol stand for exclusive R. S exclusive R T will assume the truth value T only when what either S is true or T is true, but not both are true at the same time. So, right. So, this will be false only when what T T and F F. So, in view of this the answer to this question the possible assignments to the five variables are what T T T T T R T T T F F. Understood how we have found the truth values. Okay. Now, look at the next problem. Now, here you are given that Q has the truth value 1 that means what Q is true you are given that Q is true what are the possible assignments of what truth values we can give it to P R and Yes, for which it is given to you that this condition this false statement is true. Please remember in this problem that Q has the truth value 1. Please note on this problem you are given you are given that Q has the truth value true Q is true and this statement is what true then what are the possible truth values we can find for P R and S. Okay. Now, to simplify this problem let us start that this is yes this side that this consider this formula as A and consider this formula as what B. Okay. So, symbolically or sim in a simple way we can write the this statement as what A and B. Now, we are given that A and B is true when A and B is true only when what both A and B are true. Okay. Clear? Consider this statement as A, consider this statement as B. Now, the four statement we can write it as A and B, A conjunction B. Now, it is given to you that A conjunction B is true, one means true. Okay. Now, when this is true, only when both A and B are what? True. Okay. Right. So, considering this view point, considering this view point okay, and using that Q as the truth value 1. Now, it is clear that the truth value of negation P R R and negation S yes, is 1. Can you tell me why? why this formula will assume the truth value 1 because q is given to be have the truth value 1 now because q is given to be the truth value 1 okay so why this will assume the truth value where is this here because here here what is that q is true you are given that q is true and the implication is what true yes or no the implication is true q is true therefore there is no way this one will assume the truth value f so the truth value of what negation P R R and negation S yes, must be true. Okay. Otherwise, the implication becomes what I explained to you, which is not true actually. From this, we are now when this will be true only when what both are what true. Yes or no? Negation P R R and negation S yes are true. So, negation S yes true means what? Right? We do not write negation S yes means what true means? Yes must be assume the false, yes must assume, yes must assume the truth value false okay now we do have that we do have that we do have that that this statement is true 
So it follows that negation R and negation R is true and so truth value of R is what false okay because the right so with negation P R being true we must have that P is false. So please work out this problem right if necessary I will come back to you and have a discussion on this. So the answer should come out to be that P is false Q is true R is false and then what S is false right. So we will meet tomorrow and uh, continue to discuss more on what fundamentals of logic. Thank you for watching.